if I can only buy one brand for the rest of my life, which one would it be? Which one would you pick, Chanel or Hermes? Let's compare everything about these two brands and I will tell you my preference in the end of the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts on this. Actually, two years ago, I did a Hermes Birkin and a Chanel classic flap comparison video to compare them in every single aspect. I'll leave that video down below for you to check it out after this video because nothing much changed other than their price differences. A medium to large classic flap now is $10,200 while a Togo Birkin 25 is $10,200. $300, you can pretty much think of them as the same price nowadays. While two years ago, Birkin is still more expensive. This leads to my next comparison point price increase percentage. Every time when Chanel has a price increase, the amount money that increase on the price tag is way more significant than Hermes. Especially during the past couple of years, you can think of the price increase percentage as outrageous. If Chanel's increase is around thousands of dollars, Hermes' increase is around hundreds of dollars. As a lot of you are already aware that Hermes is known for their quality, their craftsmanship for different aspects of the product or just the leather itself. While Chanel has so many quality issues were reported in social media in the past couple of years. This one I also has first-hand experience myself is if you watched my Chanel quality issue video, I bought an almost $10,000 Chanel classic flap back then and it turned out to have a rusted hardware. Here is the thing, I'm not saying Hermes is 100% so perfect and there's never any quality issue, I don't believe that, but Overall, it's absolutely safe to assume that Hermes does have better quality than Chanel. You may also be aware that Hermes is handmade while Chanel is machine made. How do you feel about that when you have to pay pretty much same price for the Birkin 25 and Chanel Classic flap? I personally do feel that I appreciate that personal touch for the handmade. I don't strongly oppose machine made at the same time, but if you want a machine made, you gotta have to guarantee the quality. If you are charging at that price point, if you can't guarantee your quality, that is very questionable. Post the sale service in Chanel is not so good because Chanel does not refurbish any bag that is five years old. And I asked about this before and I was told the reason is because that even they want to fix the bag for you, they don't have the same material from the same season anymore. How was Hermes able to handle all that, right? As a lot of you watched three of my Hermes bar video, you know that Hermes barred my vintage Hermes bag perfectly and it was really nice experience. This is just something that Chanel is not able to do. Chanel offers a wide range of bags ready to wear, fine jewelry, watches, makeup, etc. Hermes not only offers that, but also offers a variety of different home goods, also home, outdoor, equestrian, and some special services, etc. This depends on if you really want to buy into other category of luxury goods. This one, you can see that Hermes trying to want to categorize themselves as a department store where that you can buy everything from Hermes versus Chanel still kind of categorizes themselves as fashion brand. Chanel was founded in 1910 by Gabriel Coco in Paris, while Hermes is a luxury design house established in 1837. They both are really classic and iconic luxury brands. Hermes was started and known for their saddles, leather pieces, Cali Birkins, while Chanel was known for their boxy tweeter jacket, make a nice silhouette, number five perfume, and a classic flaps, etc. Generally speaking, Hermes has longer history and it also does feel more prestigious than Chanel to some degree. What do you think of the Hermes style versus Chanel style? I'd say Hermes style has more simplicity, elegant, while Chanel is more glamorous and feminine. Chanel uses a lot of different materials fabric like tweed, 
beading, imitation pearls, while Hermes is really much more simpler when it comes to style. A lot of people telling me that Hermes' style is boring, you can think of it as that way if compared to Chanel, but I also do feel like Hermes is ready to wear. It's definitely more wearable, more modern, especially in the past two years. Hermes game is already a known secret. The fact that, that you have to buy more stuff to in order to get the quarterback that you want is the source of our love and hate relationship with Hermes. However though, there's still people are buying into this, including myself, although the game is not that easy to play. Chanel tried to copy Hermes to create this game. For example, they have the rules like now you can only buy one bag each month and you can only get two classic flap per year but is it that really exclusive i'm afraid it's not because all these restrictions can be work around it by other alternatives for example you can use your husband's name to buy the second bag in the same month if you really want to and if you want to buy more classic flaps you can simply do the same thing use other people's name so it's really not that exclusive at least not to the same degree the way i look at it is that if you ask me a question am i willing to pay for one to one ratio or two to one ratio to get a chanel classic Lab. I'm afraid the answer is no. How about you? In the past, when you compare the price between Chanel and Hermes, generally speaking, Chanel is more affordable than Hermes. But after the crazy price increase in the past couple of years, they pretty much in the same level already. If not, Chanel is even more expensive. The similar price example items are Birkin 25 and the Chanel Classic Flap are the same price. Another example, the Chanel price is higher than Hermes. It's so easy to find the jacket around $10,000 or over $10,000. Like this jacket is retail for $30,000. $13,000 while Hermes you can get a double-sided 100% cashmere coat for around seven eight thousand dollars for example this one is retail for seven thousand three hundred fifty dollars while these two coats are in completely different style and material which one would you rather spend your money on it's hard to compare everything from these two brands but generally speaking with the similar or same circumstance when you try to sell a Birkin or classic flap you absolutely get more money Money back by selling your Birkin than your classic flap as a lot of other stuff random stuff in Chanel or Hermes if you need to sell them I'm afraid you have to take a big loss I love both Hermes and Chanel from the bottom of my heart I still remember you know the first exciting and very special purchase of Chanel classic flap when I was a, at a very younger age I got Hermes in much later stage of my life. After my personal experience with Chanel on that white classic flap and all these new rules and endless price increases with a significant amount and also these new rules try to make the brand more exclusive. Over the years, I realized that I have less interest in Chanel. It doesn't mean that I would never ever buy any Chanel item from the boutique for the rest of my life. If I want to buy something from the boutique, Chanel has to create something really really impressive that thing has to be crazy good that, that i feel that i must have it i still have some of the chanel style that i really love and i feel like at this point that if i still want them i can always get it from the secondhand market i'm much more happier to spend my money on the vintage ones i'm not sure how the chanel price increase will look at the next time but i'm super curious because that will be the time the classic flap will be more even expensive than a Birkin 25. And at that time, I'm wondering if people will still be willing to spend $15,000 on a Chanel classic flap. I'm not saying Hermes is so perfect in every single aspect, but if anyone asked me this question two years ago, I would be like, actually, they're the same from the bottom of my heart. I love both, but 
Now, if you ask me, I think I have a clear answer that my balance is already tilted toward Hermes. So if I can only choose one to buy for the rest of my life, it will be Hermes. Which one would it be for you? Leave me a comment to let me know. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.